Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Tincture of Sense. So on today's episode, as always, I'm going to be asking you guys a question. But this question is mainly for the ladies. Now, have you ever been propositioned before? Like you meet someone and in five minutes, the person is saying, Oh, let's go to an hotel. I want to check something on your body. Now, if yes, how did it make you feel? I ask because I heard of some propositions that made me feel, well, I'll just say disgust. So let's go into this episode and learn more about it. From time immemorial, men have been propositioning women, some decently and others very much indecently. One thing I don't understand though, is why men in this day and age think it's still acceptable to meet a woman someone they've never seen before and start asking her for sex just like that when you're not talking to someone walking the streets looking for a man to pick her up the scenario i'm describing here is essentially hello nice to meet you i think we should go to an hotel it's amazing despite all the publicity awareness around treating people especially women equally fairly and with basic dignity some men insist on going around behaving like lesser animals with little to no impulse control. What happened to men? Anyway, I'm going to share the experiences of two young ladies in this episode. The first, this young lady goes to an office to process some documents. She spoke to about three people and was eventually directed to a fourth person, a man. She spoke to him but he was leaving the office and was in a hurry and he didn't really pay her much attention. When the man left, one of the man's colleagues told the young lady to go after him and make sure she speaks to him because he's the one that can resolve the issue she came for. The young lady went after the man and caught up with him in the parking lot. She introduced herself again and told him what she was there for. He gave her an explanation about the issue she was having and, and why she was having it and how it could be resolved. But he said now he's in a hurry because he had to step out briefly and offered her a ride. She got into his car and before he drove two feet, he asked if she had a boyfriend. She said she doesn't and he goes on to ask her if he could take her to a nearby hotel to check her hymen since she hadn't had sex in a while. <sighs> the conversation went downhill from there. It culminated in him telling her that he's married with kids but whenever she needs her engines oiled, she's free to call him. Like, yes, seriously. The encounter essentially went from 0 to 100 in less than 3 seconds, a world record. Why do men think it's okay to speak to women in such a way? Now, for the viewers that say it might have something to do with the way the woman was dressed or it's because she got into his car, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Firstly, what could she have worn that suggested to the man that she wants her hymen checked? Secondly, since when did accepting a ride signal that one is open to sexual harassment? How can a sane human being think this is an acceptable line of conversation? On to the next woman's experience. A young lady's mother was ill and needed to go to hospital, but both her and her mother didn't have any money. They made some calls and eventually her mother's cousin asked her to come and see him for money. While she was on the phone with him, she thought she heard him mention condoms and an hotel, but she thought she was hearing things and didn't think much of it. Anyway, on getting to the man's office, her mother's cousin, the man started professing his love for her and told her he can take care of her and put her on a salary if she agrees to, well, what else? Sleep with him. And if she agrees to go to an hotel with him right away, he'll write her a check she can cash after the encounter. She said thanks but no thanks. Needless to say, she left the man's office empty-handed. Now, just to reiterate, a young lady went to see a man her mother's cousin for financial help to help pay the hospital bills of her ill mother and the man wanted to sleep with her before he could render assistance. How in the world can someone looking for money to take her mother, your cousin, to hospital come to you for money and the next thing that comes out of your mouth is, let's have sex first. If I didn't know better, I'd say that this man's behavior isn't normal, that he's under some sort of metaphysical or spiritual spell or influence that's making him behave like an involved Neanderthal. But I know better, and the sad truth is that this is normal behavior for quite a lot of men. On a very serious note though, what's wrong with people? How does this make any sense? Have we lost our way so much so that we can't help others, even family, unless they have something to give us in return? 
How many men will want their daughters, sisters, and even wives propositioned in the ways described earlier? Are these men so shallow to think that their family members won't be impacted by the way they and other men treat women? Just as these men think it's okay to proposition other people's children, wives, and family members, other men will think it's okay to proposition their own children, wives, and family members too. It's open season on the female gender, no? Well, let them all be indecently propositioned then. Where has decency, empathy, and all-round goodness gone? If the experiences of these young women are indicative of encounters women have with men in Nigeria, I'll say Houston, actually, sorry, Abuja, we have a problem. We have a massive problem. As the world saw with the Me Too movement, badly behaved men are a dime a dozen across the globe. The movement led to powerful Western men being named, shamed, disgraced, stripped of positions of power, and exposed for the predators that they are. It's high time the movement comes to Nigeria. There are millions of men that need to be knocked off their pedestals and sent back to school to learn how to interact with women in the 21st century. Because we just can't continue like this. Men really and truly have to do better because this state of affairs can't continue. It's just not sustainable. But um, for any man that doesn't know how to do better, they can use this thing of sense. Just like that. So if they use one three times a day for the next 100 years, they should be fine. So on that note, I'm just going to say thanks for watching. Look out for our next video next week.